Kal Kadosh Boker Or, this Daf Yomi Masechet Babatra. We are on Daf Nun Dalid Amud Aleph Fifty Forty One. We're just going to start on the last line of Nun Gimel Amud Aleph Fifty Three B. Amar Birmiya Bira Amar Reb Yehuda says Reb Birmiya Bira in the name of Reb Yehuda. I man de shada lifta bepile. If somebody's going to come and he's going to throw a turnip into a crack in the field of a ger. Which means usually what they have to do is they have to plow the land and then they plant it. Here he did not plow it. He turned, he took a turnip and he right away put it into the land. So therefore it's not considered a chazaka. What's the reasoning? Beginning of the shadab was when he put the turnip into the ground, Lavi Shvacha, nothing appreciated in the field, meaning the field, nothing happened to it. He didn't plow the field. He didn't remember this is a ger's property. And obviously by this convert who didn't have any family members, he wanted probably to take the property. But the fact that there was no appreciation immediately done, so therefore there's nothing happens here. Love Ishvacha, it's not considered a shevach. Hashtag the kashavach, the male kashavach, but when it is going to appreciate later on, when the turnip starts growing, it's going to be done in Mela. And therefore there's no acquisition done on the field in itself. Amar Shemuel says Shemuel, one nundala the mudale from the top. Hi man de fashach dikla. A person that comes and he removes branches from a palm tree. A daita de dikla. If he removed it for the sake of the tree, so kani, so then he acquired the tree. A daita de chavat, but if he did it for the animals, giving food to the animals, lo kani, he did not acquire the tree. Hey, chidami, what's the case? Shakal magi, so if he took from both sides, for sure a daita de dikla, he had in mind also for the tree. Kulu mechagasa, but if all of them were on the same side, so therefore it's going to be for the animals meaning it all depends if he was doing it to even up the tree so means you're right he's giving the branches to the animals but the fact that he was doing it from different sides he's thinking about the tree as well but if he's doing it on the same side he's only thinking about the animals and therefore it would make it depends does he make a chazaka or not Shemuel says I'm on the zachi zikaya person that swept debris we're talking about here weeds and twigs adaita da'ara if he's coming and he's doing it for the sake of improving the land so he acquires the land. I did the tziva, but if he's doing it for using all this wood and things like that for firewood, so therefore Lokan, he does not acquire the tree, the field. Hechidami, what's the case? Shaka Rav is he's taking big ones and small ones, and then it's for the land. Shaka Rav but if he's only taking the big branches, the big you know things, the breeze, and then Shavek Zutra, and he's leaving the small ones, I died the tziva, he only has a mind for the wood. Now we're talking about Shmuel's third ruling, Varma Shmuel. Haman de Atkin Tikla, the person who moves obstacles. So here we're talking about piles of dirt or holes in the field. So Adaita de Ara, if it's for the land, Kani acquires the field. Right? So the Vedada, if it's going to be for the making a threshing floor, Lo Kani has not acquired. Hechidamu, it's a case. Shaka Mulya Vishada Benatza, he took a heap of dirt and he threw it into the holes. So therefore he's thinking about the land. But Mulya Bemulya, but if he just leveled the ground by flattening everything, so then Venatsa Venatsa and filling up the holes to some extent. So therefore he's just looking to make a threshing floor, and therefore it's not going to be a good acquisition. If somebody is opening up water for the land to have water, Adaita if he's going, so basically he's opening up right for the water like a parcel of land, and then he wants to make it uh, I acquire this piece of land. So he says, if it's for the land. Right, he's going to acquire it. Died the cover, but if it's for the fish, catching fish, he's not going to acquire it. How do we know what's for what's his intention? If he opened up two holes for water, one to go in and one to go out, a died to the cover. So then that's he's doing it for the fish. Had Baba, but if you only need one opening, so therefore that's a daita de ara, so that's only for the land. And now we're going to start with a story. There was a woman that she started consuming a palm tree by removing the, the branches. For 13 years, there was a man that came and dug a little bit under the tree. He came in front of Levi. Or some people say it was came from more Ukva, not Levi. The Ukma biada and Levi came and he said, "It's long stand." So I take a The woman comes and she starts screaming. She starts saying, "I don't understand. I'm here for 13 years. The guy comes, he does a little tiny something. Now it's his." Amalai says, my Avidacha, what am I going to do to you? So you never made a, a kinyan like the normal way. Meaning the fact that you came and you were always doing it for 13 years, but you never made a good acquisition, doesn't matter. He, you're here for 13 years. You didn't make one good chazaka. He came for two minutes and he made a good chazaka. And that's it. Amar Rav Rav says also, if you're going to draw a picture right, on the property of a ger, 
cannot you acquire it? The Rab lo kani leginta de Vedab was Rab did not acquire the garden adjoining his academy a little bit only because he's drawing a picture on it. Let me imagine you put a logo of yours on the field, now it becomes yours. So each man will stay there. When you have a field that is marked with its boundaries, as soon as you make one single insertion into the field, you acquire the entire field. And Shmuel says that you only acquire only the place of the insertion where you put it in. That's all that you acquired. 54b. Now, if it's not going to be marked until when do we say right, that it's going to be a form of acquisition, so the Papa says it's as much as the yoke of an ox goes and returns. It goes in and out. That's how much you're going to acquire. So, you know that the adulterous field, right, this, belong, this is just like the desert. Anybody that takes, they acquire it. My time, what's the reason? Because the second he gets money, he takes away himself from it. But the Jew only acquires it once he gets a star. Therefore, it's going to be like a desert. Anybody is going to acquire them, right? Is going to anybody who has a chazaka and they're going to acquire it. So Amale by the Rav Yosef says by the Rav Yosef, Miyama Shmuel does Shmuel actually say that? says, We go according to the law of the land. And Malka, the king, says, He says, You only could have, you have a document. That's the only way to acquire the land. So Amale, he says, I don't know. There was an incident once in a shepherd's village. He says over here, That a Jew that bought a land from a goy. And another Jew came and he dug a little bit. And he gave it to the second guy. So therefore you see that if Yehuda said that the second Jew could take advantage of it because there's a vacuum. Basically the second that the, that the Goy took away himself because he received the money, now it's no man's land until the second Jew comes and he has a chazakah. So therefore since this other Jew came in the middle and he made a chazakah, now it becomes his. He took advantage. Amalei said to Rav Yosef, Udura deravata kamata, you talk about a shepherd's village? These are lands which are undisclosed to the authorities. Because they don't pay anything to the taxes. They don't give anything to the taxes. So the king says, the one who pays the taxes, it belongs to him. Meaning you can't compare this case because it's a completely different halakha. Over there, they pay taxes. They don't. So the king says, whoever pays taxes, it's his. I don't care who really it is. As long as you pay taxes, it's yours. Also, Rav Huna bought land from Anove Kochavim. Another Jew came, he dug a little bit. Then he came in front of Rav Nachman. And Rav Nachman said, it's yours. He said, what's, what's the rationale for this? Right, I didn't come back to Zivim Zaha. He says, what, is it because of this? So he says, Why didn't you like that Shmuel? Why didn't you like that Shmuel? Meaning, if you're already going like Shemuel, that you could actually come and you could actually take advantage of this momentum and go inside and just dig and now it becomes yours. One second, Shemuel says you only get you only get the place where you dug. All the rest, no. So if you're already going like Shemuel, go like Shemuel 100%. And that's exactly what he's going like. Have a wonderful day. Shemuel in Shmat, Estrea Bat Oro.